everyone to another episode of the journey through apostolic succession. Matthew chapter 10 verse 40 says, Jesus declares to his apostles, He who receives you receives me, and he who rejects you rejects me and the one who sent me. Jesus freely gives his authority to the apostles in order for them to give Jesus to the world. Today we talk about Pope Saint Symmachus, who was the 51st Pope and the leader of the Catholic Church. He became the Pope just days after the death of Pope Anastasius II and ruled for more than 15 years. Symmachus' papacy began on November 22, 498, and papacy ended on July 19, 514. His successor, was Pope Hormistus. Some interesting facts. Symmachus was one of the only popes who reigned at the same time as an archpriest. Anastasius II was pope for short of two years and when, we, when he passed away in Rome. While looking for his successor, the bishops quickly settled on Symmachus who developed a strong reputation for his teachings. Just a few months after becoming the Pope, Symmachus called a synod in Rome that brought more than 70 clergymen and bishops to the city. He called the synod as a way to discuss his papacy and the claim on papacy by Andy Pope Lawrence. Lawrence later agreed to it and left the city. The Pope held a second synod at the Basilica of Santa Maria which wasn't as successful as the first one. Discussion ranged regarding the claim to the papal throne. The discussion raged through the night and ended with several bishops living in fear and anger. During another synod, Symmachus fought over his position and whether he deserved it. Bishops refused to pass judgment on the Pope, which was ultimately in the hands of God. Finally, Symmachus was entitled to the full exercise of his episcopal office. In later years, he aided the poor for whom he built refuge and for African Catholics who were being persecuted by the Arians. And he also erected and restored several Roman churches, including the Basilica of St. Agnes Puro di Mora on the Via Aurelia. Symmachus died on July 19, 514. The church buried Symmachus in St. Peter's Basilica. Known as both Pope and Saint today, he is officially Pope Saint Symmachus. His feast day is on July 19. That's all for today. Thank you all for listening. Please stay tuned for our next episode. Please like, share and spread the word of God for the church and for Christ. God bless you all.